What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. Thanks again to all you that are subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you're not, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, like and comment. There's a lot to like and a lot to comment about in the Sooner 17 to nothing uh, demolition of the Kansas Jayhawks, Jay. And uh, look, we talked about this on the pregame uh, uh, video leading up to that we thought the extra motivation might even be there with Brooks going for Kansas, uh, not having allowed a home run all season, and it didn't take long, Jay, because Jada Coleman said, let's put an end to that streak, leading off the game with the home run, and the Sooners never even flinched in the 17 to nothing game, a game in which Nicole May gets the win, going 3.1 innings pitched, and only throwing 32 pitches in that time, Jay. Yeah, this was just a, from the get-go, this was a, a game you could tell was not going to be close. I mean, once again, another game where Oklahoma jumps out on the team and gets a lead. Uh, six nothing before you could blink, and Brooks is out of the game. I mean, like you said, it didn't take long. Jada Coleman gets it going with the leadoff bomb, and that home run streak of the pitcher is gone already. Uh, just all around, just a dominating performance. And May uh, talked a little bit this, about this last night with Kelly Maxwell. When you, when you got a team that's hitting the ball the way Oklahoma is right now, if you're a pitcher and your your team puts up two to three runs first inning, that's just the first thing. You know they're going to put up more. I mean, that, the way they're hitting the ball, you're going out there pitching, and you saw what she did in the first inning. Yeah, What was that, three minutes? She was out of the inning? Pitches, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just up and down. So – Great performance from uh, Nicole May, one hit. Uh, and then, you know, when you have that big of a lead, then they throw in Garen and Monticelli there to end it. And, well, I mean, this these two games, Jeremy, so far, this is, guys, this is not a bottom feeder in the Big 12. This is a ranked opponent, a team that has swept Baylor, swept Houston. OU's making them look like a uh, team that hasn't played very good all year. I mean, it, it's just a great performance by Oklahoma, 17 runs. What can you say? Nicole May was exceptional. Uh, hit spots. Uh, she didn't strike. She, uh, wasn't overwhelming. The strikeouts only had one, but she didn't have to be. Uh, I like this this May where she's putting the ball uh, near the plate and allowing them to swing and letting her defense help her. Listen, Monticelli strikes out the only two batters she faces, but the, the story was the offense. Uh, uh, top of the order, Jada Coleman, okay, Brito Jennings combined – Six hits, 12 runs, six RBIs. It's insane what they did at the top of the lineup, Jay. It was good to see Kenzie Hansen get two plate appearances, getting a hit and scoring a run. Riley Boone was exceptional in the middle of the order. Yeah. Uh, Ludlam had two hits. I, I, you could go on and on, but Jay to Coleman, again, was a story, I think, with the two bombs. Tiari Jennings gets her team leading 14th dinger on the season. And Brino adds another bomb. I mean, I don't know what else to say right now about, I mean, what Tiari Jennings and Brito are doing. Uh, I mean, Tiari right now is on a, she's on an unbelievable tear. And watching her get pitched to tonight, uh, it's it's almost like a thing of beauty because people are, are dancing around her. They don't want to give her anything to hit. And when they do, she's hitting it. I mean, she's not letting anything go by without putting a, putting the meat of the bat on it right now. And it's just, it's fun to watch. And what OU has done over the last two to three weeks or two weeks, probably when, when they've been very patient at the plate, we've talked about this so much so that even this Brooks tonight was, you know, first inning put some pitches very close, but they weren't strikes. No, he was laying off them. And it really makes the pitcher think, well, I got to put one in there now because I'm down two and zero in the count and you do. And it's, Bye-bye ball. Ball's over the fence. I mean, this team right now is just dominating. It's fun to watch. Uh, I, I just don't really know what – you don't, there's not many, many adjectives you can say right now of what they're doing offensively. Uh, and then the pitching has, has been really good of late too. So it's just – it's been great. Jada Coleman, you talked about the patience, Jay. She had three base on balls today. Uh, and two home her, runs. Along with her two dingers. Uh, and then defensively, Tiari Jennings, Jennings made a play where she got it and spun around and, and slung it over to first. Beautiful play. 
Uh, I think everyone played. Uh, Hannah Core got in, got a hit in an RBI. Quincy Lilio got an RBI. Uh, Maya Bland played. I mean, the bench was emptied and uh, just a phenomenal performance. Ended up being pretty good weather there in Lawrence. Uh, around 68, I think, was the high. Uh, but th they've won two of three now. They close out the series tomorrow. And uh, the only pitchers that have not pitched thus far in this series is Deal and Keeney. And I expect to see for sure Deal getting a start and Keeney being there if needed, Jay. Yeah, and Kansas has thrown their two best pitchers in this series and um, hasn't boded well for them. So uh, I, I look for – you know, I didn't call the run rule tonight. I, I didn't. Jeremy, you did. You you said it would be a run rule. I thought it'd be more like a six to one, seven to one game. They come out and demolish him. Uh, tomorrow, I think it's going to be a run rule. I just think right now, Oklahoma is swinging the bats, and it's at the great time. I mean, a uh, great time of the season as you got Texas lurking, but you got to finish this series off first uh, tomorrow with another victory. Right now, and, and I, I loved Brito in the two hole, Tiari in the three hole. I like that. Whether or not they continue that, I think they like to move it around. You see it all the time. But I, I'm not sure right now. If, I mean, if you're a pitcher facing Oklahoma, I mean, what do you do right now? I mean, you, you you try to paint the corners with pitches, and it better be right on the corner because they're not swinging at it if it's not. And they're, they're just in a zone right now, Jeremy. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. They're in a zone. Alina Torres also two for four today, Jay. There is no weak. There's no weak spot in the lineup. Middle, uh, back in, at the front. Doesn't matter. It's strong all the way throughout. And Jay, I didn't. I don't know if I called the run rule, but it did say that the ball would be flying out of the out of the park, especially with the extra motivation that they had. And uh, again, you watch it when Jada did that. Even Gasol's reaction. I, I know the fact that Brooks had not allowed a home run was talked about not just a little bit, probably a lot. And the Sooners put up football-like numbers today, winning 17 to nothing. Yes, you heard that right. 17, hey, 17 to zero uh, against the Jayhawks. I don't want to bring this up, but I'm sure OU football would have liked this 17-0 victory over the Kansas Jayhawks last year, right? Um, they would have taken that and run, Jay. And, and again, big thanks to everyone that's watching the content here. The Sooners will close the series against the Jayhawks tomorrow. Uh, and expect Deal to get the start there, going for another sweep of another Big 12 opponent uh, where they're just taking names every, everywhere they go. Uh, big game today uh, against the Jayhawks, 17 to nothing. Thanks for watching the content here at the Sooner Surge. You know there's a lot more coming your way. Make sure you're subscribed. Till next time, Boomer. Sooner.